Selena Gomez is letting everybody know that there is nothing coming in between her and Benny Blanco. There was some breakup rumors going around, but we're going to be talking about how she shut that right down, okay? That along with a bunch of other things that have happened this past weekend. We're talking about Charlie D'Amelio making her Broadway debut, Logan Paul becoming a dad, and we're going to be talking about Chapel Roan because there is a lot going on with Chapel. Miss Girl has been through a lot online. A lot of people have a lot of things to say. We're going to talk about what she said that's kind of gotten her some trouble. We're going to break it all down. So let's get into everything that has been messy. Let's start with some of the crazy influencer news of the week. Charlie D'Amelio is making her Broadway debut. Truly something I did not have on my radar at all. Honestly, Variety broke the story on Monday, writing TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio to make Broadway debut in Anne Juliet. They wrote, TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio will make her Broadway debut in the jukebox musical Anne Juliet, a revisionist take on Shakespeare's classic tale of star-crossed lovers. D'Amelio will join the ensemble in the part of Charmian, which has been described by producers as a dance-heavy role. She will begin performances on October 29th for a limited three-month engagement through January 19th, 2025. Charlie shared the news on Instagram, writing, I'm so incredibly excited to finally share that I'll be joining the cast of Anne Juliet on Broadway. This has been my ultimate dream ever since I was a little girl, but it always felt like something I could only admire from a distance, never imagining I'd actually get to be part of it. And now here I am, starting this amazing new chapter in my life and cherishing every second. I honestly can't find the right words to describe just how much this means to me. I'm deeply grateful to anyone who has supported me along the way. I wouldn't be here without all of you. A ginormous thank you to the entire Anne Juliet team for allowing me to be part of such a special show. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Tons of people online have been shook by the announcement since Charlie hasn't really branded herself as a theater girly, so they were really caught off guard by this announcement. Variety making note that the role is dance heavy certainly does make more sense because everyone does know Charlie as the TikToker who does the dances, but she hasn't really been one to say that she wanted to act and sing. Honestly, the one time that she did come out with a song, everyone kind of just assumed it was to create drama for her reality show that she did with her family because it was a whole storyline of, is Charlie trying to step on Dixie's toes? Is she coming for her singing career? And didn't really continue with it after that. But it seems Charlie is out here getting into theater and there's definitely lots of opinions because there's always going to be opinions when it comes to influencers getting jobs like this. But I think if she was known as this theater TikToker, everyone would be over the moon so excited thinking it was the perfect fit. But I think everyone is just in this state of shock of like, I didn't even know this was something that she wanted. But she has said that she's wanted to be a professional dancer and it is a dance heavy role. So I guess it's a fit. We're going to see. Speaking of some other shocking influencer news, Logan Paul is now a dad. I mean, not totally a shocker. We knew his fiance was pregnant, but it is still just shocking to realize Logan is responsible for another human being. I don't know. Just a strange one to process because there's also this part of me that's like, when did everybody online start growing up? Him and his fiance Nina announced the news on Sunday, writing Esme Agdal Paul has entered the chat. And this happy news wasn't stopping Logan from thinking about a current lawsuit that he's in. Logan is currently in a legal battle with Ryan Garcia. In May of this year, Logan's company Prime Hydration filed a defamation lawsuit against Ryan. The lawsuit alleges that Ryan made several damaging claims about the drink on social media, including that Prime contained harmful chemicals, was dangerous for kids, and caused liver damage. Ryan ended up commenting on Logan's birth announcement and said, congratulations. Logan replied and said, Prime still suing you for lying, but thanks. And Ryan replied saying, I could care less about your lawsuit. I'm giving a congrats to the birth of your child. The drama never stops, honestly. Literally, not even when you announce the birth of a child, it still continues. But moving into some celeb drama and news that is happening in that bubble of the world, there's been a lot of talk surrounding Chapel Roan, who rose to fame this year as several of her songs went viral on TikTok. She opened for Olivia Rodrigo. She's been doing a ton of festivals. The crowds have been in love with her. Things have just really fallen into place for her career-wise, and she's just absolutely blown up. 
but it's been overwhelming and she's been very open with her fans about how she struggled with this sudden rise to fame. Recently, people have been coming for her though and she's received a ton of backlash online as people feel she's always complaining about something and that she isn't coming off as grateful for all that's happened and it's turned into a true mess. So much to the point that SNL seemed to take a few jabs at her in this weekend's episode. But basically, Chapel Roan has faced a lot of public attention and pressure, including controversy surrounding her political comments on the 2024 election. All the drama surrounding her name really kind of started last month when she spoke out about stalkers and people coming up to her and touching her and feeling entitled to an interaction from her. And at first it came off in just not the best way, but when later explained on Instagram, people were more understanding and other celebrities were reposting what she said in support, understanding that totally seeing where she was coming from and people were very much like, she's right, fan culture has gone too far, people are not entitled to anyone, you don't actually know these celebrities, you can't just assume that they're going to want a hug or, you know, a picture or anything. But Chapel's name kept going around in the press. She had also canceled a couple upcoming shows that fans were really disappointed by, feeling like she was prioritizing things like the VMAs instead of keeping promises to fans. And then she found herself in some more controversy when she made comments about the political climate in 2024, criticizing this pressure that is put on artists to align with specific political causes and endorse candidates. She ultimately was saying she did not want to have to endorse a political candidate. Due to the backlash that she received from talking about all of this, it seems she was pulling out of her performance at the All Things Go Festival, which really devastated fans. With very short notice, she posted to her Instagram story saying, I apologize to people who have been waiting to see me in New York City and DC this weekend at All Things Go, but I am unable to perform. Things have gotten overwhelming over the past few weeks and I am really feeling it. I feel pressures to prioritize a lot of things right now and I need a few days to prioritize my health. I want to be present when I perform and give the best shows possible. Thank you for understanding. Be back soon. XOX. She's currently set to perform on SNL on November 2nd and people were making jokes about her cancer canceling that performance because of the fact that they did make a joke about her over this past weekend. Mm. Bowen Yang was dressed as Mu Ding, the hippopotamus that has been going absolutely viral and kind of playing into this Chapel Roan energy of fame being very overwhelming and people wanting pictures and all these things. Fans of Chapel did not like this skit. They were actually coming at Bowen but he ended up addressing the sketch on his Instagram story, saying that he wasn't trying to mock Chapel, sharing what Variety wrote as their headline of their article, saying SNL mocks Chapel Roan as Bowen Yang's Mu Ding takes on crazy fans. Bowen wrote, oh geez, mocks. If my personal stance and the piece aren't absolutely clear in terms of supporting her, then there it is, I guess. Everything she has ever asked for has been reasonable, and even then, we can connect it to another story about boundaries or whatever. Needing the hope right now which people had defended online that they didn't think that the sketch was offensive and that it was making fun of how obsessed people can get over someone. But that is what has gone on with Chapel Roan. That is what Bowen Yang had to say about the SNL sketch. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is a mess out there. But as for Selena Gomez, she had herself a night the other night. She went to the Sabrina Carpenter show. She played at Madison Square Garden. Selena was in the crowd. She was dancing the night away and posted a ton on social media. Her friend did spark some breakup rumors between her and Benny Blanco though as one of them posted a TikTok that said when you're married at the Sabrina Carpenter show but your friends are single and she tagged Selena and their other friend and so everyone was like wait a minute like oh, what does this mean then there was a video going around of Selena and people were like, oh my gosh, she's dancing with another man at the concert. And this other man ended up being Edgar Ramirez, who is her co-star in the film, Amelia Perez. It then started this whole thing online where people were wondering his sexuality. They were like, there it can't be like, she's with Benny. Like, there's no way he'd be okay with this. Like, is this guy gay? Like, what is going on? It was a whole thing, you guys. But I'll tell you what was cleared up, and it is that Selena and Benny are going strong, okay? And that she is just friends with Edgar. Her friend responded to a comment on her TikTok that said, does this mean Benny is no more? And she said, Benny is forever, bruh. Selena also posted a video onto her Instagram where she's singing the words to Juno by Sabrina Carpenter, and she captioned the video by tagging Benny Blanco. 
Benny ended up commenting on the video writing, can't keep my hands to myself. Selena also addressed the video of her and Edgar on TikTok, posting in response to everything that has been said, OMG, how dare I dance with my bestie. So it seems she's not letting anyone think her and Benny are done, that's for sure, though the two of them have faced a lot of criticism for their relationship since they started, with a lot of people not liking that Benny and Selena were together. They felt that Benny had made shady comments about Selena in the past, so they didn't like her with him. And then it started this whole drama between her and her fans, and she was defending him against her fans. It got very messy, but they've been together for a long while now, to the point that people are starting to be like, okay, Hey, it seems like they're really going to be doing this thing and they're getting nervous when it seems like they've maybe broken up or something but it seems they're going strong so that is what's going on with selena and benny that is the drama from this weekend and everything else that went down i want to know what you guys think about all of this from charlie to logan to chapel let me know all of your thoughts i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys <laughs>